going on everybody i am up here at the parkville hive uh it is technically at my sister's up the hill so uh, today the goal now i'm not sure how much honey will be in here the goal is to try and get a box of honey off of it i have a box of frames if i can get my gloves to work with me here that's a minute a uh, box of frames i'm gonna try and swap out so stay tuned and we will see what happens that'll just have to do this hive is uh this hive is known to be a not fun one to deal with it's uh turned into what i'm what i'm calling a hot hive um where for whatever the reason they are just extremely moody uh they're also a top producer in my opinion they're extremely strong in that category so uh so yeah so i'm i have them up here kind of tucked out of the way so they can be mad all they want doesn't really bother me any bees get like that sometimes when they have them are sitting on a lot of honey and uh they think people are coming to steal from them I mean, they're kind of right so i'm gonna try to smoke them up real good here before i can dig into this hive Make sure you guys are rolling. Yep. So you can see this one's the white box is a deep, and then we have a medium for the um, the top half of the brew chamber, uh, queen excluder, which is this part here, and then um, the top here is just another honey super. I forget which box now. It's been two weeks since I've been here. I forget if this was the most recent box or this one was. Uh, or if I've intermingled them or such. So we'll have to dig kind of all through it and see what we got here. So I'm just gonna give them a little more smoke than normal. Cause this hive is known to be one to rip me up. Granted, they were pretty okay last time, but we'll see. All right, so, so we're just going, well, that box is kind of open, that's weird. Give a little smoke in there. Oh, bees on that lid. I'm try not to bump nothing here. Should probably lay that down over there. Give a little, little something, something. Just to keep our tempers pretty calm. Look at that drone. That's a big boy. Um, drones are males. They only grow them during certain times of the year. They kill them off for winter. Uh, they don't contribute to the hive at all, except for to mate with the queen. This box is super tight and I don't have a right tool. Um, you're supposed to separate them out. Um, and you never want to pull a middle frame. You always pull one of the side ones. They're normally never fully drawn. As you can see, this, this was actually drone comb. I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick it up these are all bigger cells than these here um, so at some point they had drones all in here so I'm just gonna set this one aside here Let's see if we do have any honey they're getting a little a little frisky on me just trying to keep them all calm so I don't get all too ripped up even with my suit on there They'll get in my suit, my pants, my every way. So see that one's capped. That frame's ready to go. Let's keep sliding, see what else we got in here. Whole box maybe. So again, you always work outside in. Unless you know you've got nothing drawn on one side, then you can kind of cheat the system a little. Fully capped. Yeah, we're gonna be pulling some honey today. I know that'll make some of you very, very happy because a lot of you were really looking for some honey. Uh, the bad news is I forgot to bring um, a bee brush. So that'll, that'll make this a little bit interesting, but I'm just gonna start doing a little exchange here, we'll call it, for my frames for their frames see how far we get without really irritating too many bees here smoke them real good see if i can't 
get them to walk down on, on it. So even though they're a real pissy hive, I'm gonna try the shake method here. I'm gonna shake them off the front. Since it's only one hive, the odds of them uh, not, yeah, oh yeah, they're real mad, obviously. Let me just try and keep the smoke going. If this smoker goes out, I'm gonna have to pause and relight it. Anyway. So the proper way to do this is to have a bee escape. Uh, bee escapes are the right way to do it because they allow the bees to work down naturally. You don't have to shake your bees, you don't have to anything. Um, so I'm just gonna try and hit these here, see if, see if that don't work. That worked pretty well actually. But see, they're, they're hitting on me pretty well here. Just gonna try and keep smoking things down. Smoke me, smoke you a little, there you go. All right, so it's two frames down. I'm gonna be riding in a car full of bees. Anything to get you guys honey, because I know you guys love the honey that I produce, so we're gonna try and do it for you. So if you see down in there, you can see where they've drawn sideways. They're filling out this colony that much that they're just putting it in here basically any way they can. So see, see the propolis? So I'm gonna come in, just cut that some so I don't split my frames now that I got some space. Same thing on the other side and continue. This one's loaded down with bees though. Completely capped, this is beyond ready. So you never do this with eggs that have, frames that have eggs or anything on it. You only do this with frames that have only honey. That way you're not disturbing the queen, the eggs. You really don't wanna mess that up just by trying to make a harvest. Mm, man, they really got the bottom of this stuck down here. It's stuck to the bot, there it is. They drew straight across that, see that down there? Again, fully capped both sides. Let's check them off there. I'll hit them with more smoke here in a second. Keep everybody on the what they think is the happy side of life. And it is, because I'm, I'm giving them more space to do what they need to do. They're a very powerful hive. Other than their temperament, they're perfect. But for me, temperament's a lot. So all my bees at every other yard, I can walk around with no shirt on, cut grass, everything. It's the prime reason on why this one is tucked away up in the woods. Because while being a top producer, they also do not like me. Because I'm coming in to do a more space and take their resources. Because it just tastes oh so good. All right, Let's give them a little more smoke, try and get the bees down. Normally I, I never smoke them like this. I always use queen excluders. I have a couple that are out, like people are using them right now. So it's kind of not a great time for me to be doing this, but this hive is ready and I've, I've got orders um, that have been lined up for a couple days and I, I just feel the need to get them out. I, it can't wait any longer. Um, so yeah. Oh, man, they stuck that one down too. All right. So see, all capped again, all capped, no. Not all capped. See the difference? See all the holes? See how it's capped up there? Not over here. So you're looking for an 80% mark on capped. So the rest of this will not be capped. That works for me though. So I will go ahead and stick this all back in here. Minus the tree. Stick all this back in. If you never want to hurt your bees, you always shake them in because they can handle that fall. It's hard, hard for them to handle getting squished. So I, I always rather shake my bees into a box and let them get settled than me try and jam them in and them hurt themselves or me hurt them. Because that's definitely not what I want to do. 
and I'm not even going into the well, I'm not even going into the lower box the lower medium which in my mind would be full of honey because I like to keep I try to keep at least one box for them for over winter they're getting a little irritated with me obviously fix that up and uh yeah so i'm i'm just gonna leave that there i know i won't take any of that for the season slide this back down in here sorry if you guys are at a, a bad viewing angle here I'm, I'm gonna work on that with these coming videos um this is the first time around with the chest mount i'm hoping that it shows the position and all so we have our frames you never want to let these sit out too long near the hive because they'll start robbing it out and taking it back to the hive so now's our time to close them up and get going so i never want to squish them off the top so you hit them just a little like that they'll start to run down right now they're in their territorial mode so i see a ball of bees down here and normally that would really concern me the only reason why it doesn't is they were above a queen excluder with no eggs so i know there's no queen up here if you see a ball like that after you've been working in the bees, I bet you there's a queen in it when you're not above a queen excluder. So anyway, you've seen me do it in my, my other bee yards. This is a lid. I don't like squishing bees on top frames. You just give them a shake or two, get the majority off, let them get settled. These are these will be irritated, so you got to give them a little something, something. You never set it straight down. You always come in a little and just kind of scooch them out of the way. I think I didn't make it in. But that's okay. All right, so I'm going to set this back in. I got probably four or five bees. That's okay. I'll shake them out before I get in the car. At least I'll try to. There's normally always that one. Normally I do this pickup with the, my pickup truck, but that's not in the cards today. All right, so they're just eating honey down there. I'm not worried about it. All right, um, how to do this and show you. Ooh, Hit, stick, poke me. I thought I got head. All right, so I think that's going to be it. I'm, I'm going to need my hands and the focus coming down this hill with all this. But I will show you guys right now some, uh, some rolling clips of me harvesting the honey. Anyway, thanks for watching.